for the random little tutorial, but someone in the previous class asked a very good question on how to go about taking keyframes from one project into another. Uh, for example, if you've already started, apologies for the cat in the background. Um, okay, so what I've got here is I've opened up the lip sync file where I had my options one, two, and three. Um, and then what I have, um, what I can also do is, so let's say for example that I want to animate this character over here, all right? I would still go about the first steps, right click, time, enable time remapping, all right? That's going to allow me to extend that layer as far as I want, delete the very first keyframe, and then right click and toggle hold on our very first keyframe, okay? So when we import files, we're not just limited to importing um, sort of layers in AI files, all right? So I can sort of double click in my project panel to open up the import option. And here's the student file that I gave you guys, just to show you guys that I can import that, okay? So we then get a folder in our project panel called studentfile.aep, all right? So After Effects project. And then inside of that, we've got all the solids, layers, footage, and compositions necessary. All right, so let's for, say for example that in my student file I had been working with option three. All right, so I can double click on the composition. I need to relink these layers. So for those of you who have forgotten, I can just right click on any of those layers, reveal source in project. All right, it shows me that our layers are found in a folder called lip sync class file week five layers. So I'm gonna right click, replace footage with a file. I'll go into my footage, my layers, find that information in order to relink it. And once it is done, there we go. Okay, so if I had done any sort of lip sync animation in this project that I've just imported, um, the keyframes would be here, right? So again, if I were to just quickly set this up, uh, let's just go time, enable time remapping. Let's drag it out a little bit and let's just do like a very quick animation here. So toggle hold keyframe, um, 10 frames, we're just gonna take it over here, 20 frames, we'll just, I'm just gonna do literally random shapes just so we can actually see this. There we go. Okay, so if these were the keyframes that I made in my previous animation, but I wanna move them over to the next one, I can copy these. All right, I can go into my option that I wanna work with. So option two here. And with that very first keyframe selected, I can copy or I can paste rather. So I've copied from over here, those keyframes there. I've pasted them here and they will then take effect. Okay, so if you wanted to update or change your character, you can always simply just copy and paste your toggle hold keyframes on the mouth options, right? They're all the exact same shapes. They just have different folders because they're linked to different files. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps. Um, yeah, and then if you've got any questions, you just let me know. Ciao.